Yo, what's going on guys? Sing here. Uh, back at you with another video. Uh, stupid freaking heart. Um, just wanted to talk to you guys about a, uh, well, talk to Ebony hopefully about a few suggestions that would, um, I think, fix the game. So there, there's four things, four things specifically that I think would fix the game. And the first thing is reducing March size and reducing rally size. So one, reducing March size, I think, is important because the buffs have gotten to such a degree where the quantity of troops um, really have an impact, like have a significant impact when it comes to like solos, specifically solos. So like, let's just say you have a ground solo, like a five, like at this point, I think it's like 4.8 or 4.9. I don't know if you get to five now, like that big of a March size soloing um with these crazy stats like 2000 percent stats and these insane base stats for ground um which i mean hp is 73 i mean i don't even know like the base stats for ground are absolutely insane um it, it, it the multiplication on the number of troops and the base stats for ground as it is is just absolutely ridiculous if you ask me it's just it's just way 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 too high and there's just too many troops that can fit into that march size so it, it it's out of balance right now and i mean it's a later point but ground is really difficult to um to properly debuff attack and defense for some keeps defense is especially with these crazy buffs like what they're getting at now it's really really hard to debuff that properly like some keeps are sitting at 200 ground attack debuff and if you have two if you have two thousand percent ground attack coming at you like you're you can get one shot from like three and a half bill, three bill. Um, and you could have been working on your keep for like two or three years. And someone could have just coined recently like a bunch. And you're just, you enter battlefield and you just get one shot with a big ground. Because his march size is broken. There's insane buffs that have just come out. And ground based stat is very overpowered. So I think... <clears throat> I think March size needs to be reduced, in my opinion. I really do think March size needs to be reduced um, because you can't take away the buffs. I really don't know if you can... I mean, unless you could take away some of these buffs that have come out, I, I don't think so. Um, the only other thing I could think of is reducing the amount of troops that get a, get the buff applied to them. So instead of, like, I don't know, 4.8 million, what is the max March size, like, make it 4 as the max max march size or make it 4.1 or 4.2 or something i make like the standard i don't know like super senior whatever march size for like a k40 or something like three and a half or 3.2 or something like that um just make it make it lower so that the amount of troops that are getting applied this crazy buff is less and that way like defense has more of a chance against these crazy solos i mean the mechanics of the chain of the game will change majorly if that happens but maybe it's i don't it'll need to be tested and stuff like big siege solo will definitely like take a hit but i think it's important um to save the game a little bit to save defense a little bit like march size needs to be reduced um the other thing is rally size so i understand it's important to take out these large keeps for sure and there are some crazy size keeps now um but I think that rally size is just way too big. Like we went from 11.7 to what I think is like 58 now it can get to with some of the ascensions. It is way, way too big. Um, rally size needs to be needs to be nerfed. Um, there's 16, 17, 18 bill keeps being two tapped. There's 12, 12 and a half bill keeps being one tapped. All stars, we're gonna see new records this time again. Probably 13, 14 bill keeps being one tapped. Like these are keeps again that have insane amount of coining done to them. That because of the mechanics of the game now, because of the rally size being what it is, because of the buffs being what they are, because of the lack of debuffs in the game, um they're they're just gonna be one tapped. And uh it's just a little bit too much if you ask me. Um Defense just applying this 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 stupid thing over here champion they changed it because you know they're being offensive to women and stuff like this 55% 100% reinforcement capacity like that's 
um, unless we're all gonna pre raid um, with this 28% HP defense, like 40% attack, that's not gonna that's not gonna save you. That's not this isn't this champion's not gonna make a difference for you. Um, it's the quantity of marches that can fit into the rally and the amount of turns that go by because there's so many marches at you and the amount of turns that your defense is stuck on the layers in those rallies that's causing a problem. It's a 17 versus one, the 18 versus one. That's the problem and that that's the issue. So if it's like 35 and it's like 13 versus one, 12 versus one defense has a chance. It's, it's much more possible for someone to tank if it's like 12 or 13 versus one as a maximum versus like, I don't even know what you can get to like 20 versus one. There's just way too many turns going by. There's way too many sets of layers to go through and, and way too many people are getting one tapped uh, with the current mechanics. So that's my rant on March size and rally size. I think March size should be again, 3.5 rally size should be something like 35 mil. Um, and just leave it at that. So, all right, so let's talk about number two. So point number two is stop releasing pay to win advantages, like more pay to win advantages. Like we had Civ gear, honestly, like uh, tax scrolls are pay to win. I don't care, tax scrolls are pay to win. Um, ascensions are pay to win. You gotta get the general fragments. You need to get the, what are they? The, I don't even know, Blood of Ares. That's pay to win. You gotta get the Rune Stones um, to get those buffs and everything. The, these, these, this stupid thing over here, champion thing, pay to win. Like all these buffs, these pay for buffs things needs to, you, they need to stop being released, bro. Like. It, 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 just give it a break for a little bit. Um, I feel like they're just snorting money right now. Like they just are getting high off making money that people are willing to pay. Um, and they're just enjoying it so, so much. And they just keep doing it. Like just all they're doing is thinking about different methods to make money rather than, and they, they're being rewarded, you know? It's like a dog that's been given a treat and they're just like, okay, you guys are paying for it. Let's do another one. Oh, you're still paying for it. Let's do another one. Oh, you're still paying for it. Let's do another one. So, I mean, we really need to condition them. It's true. Like this coining strike makes sense. Like we need to condition them to like stop. <laughs> really, we need to condition them to stop. Um, but pay to win advantages need to, uh, need to stop. There needs to be a break given some time given for the player base to catch up. Like, give it like six months to a year. Like, just, I don't even know. Just give it some time for players to catch up. Um, like, let's reduce this gap a little bit so that people can grind for some time, catch up on Civ gear, which gives me to point number three. Give a path for low budget or free players to like long grind and catch up on some of these like Civ gear walls, like some of these Ascension walls. Like, give some time for these people to catch up a little bit. Okay, maybe they're not going to max refine everything maybe they're not going to get every piece of civ gear maybe they're not going to get all the sets whatever it happens to be i get it people paid for their advantages cool but give them some kind of path to catch up a little bit um that's point number three uh i think that path needs to be made but yeah that's that's how the balance is going to come back a little bit um is if pay to win updates stop happening some time is given for the people who have been disadvantaged to catch up um, and grind. And yeah, the path just needs to get there. There needs to be some light, like the update needs to happen where this is all possible. An immediate solution for this game would be to nerf rally size and march size. I don't know if they'll listen to that, but I don't know if you guys agree with that. I know probably some of the people enjoying their coining might not agree with that um but for the sake of the game for the sake of like pay to win versus the like life of this game i think it needs to happen um and then addressing debuff uh is the last thing is debuff is just stupid 
There's no Siege HP debuff. There's no ground attack debuff. Um, let me see if we have a ground rally somewhere. Um, let's see. It's a ground rally. Let's see what his ground attack debuff is. Oh, he does have ground attack debuff. Let's see. There's some people that don't have any at all, really. 220 ground attack debuff. Um, is any of his debuff here? I don't think any of his debuff was there. Okay, stabby. Let's see. Is ground is debuff back? Hold on. No, it's not. Okay. Um yeah, 220 ground attack debuff. Like <laughs> Panda, is your is your are your subsidies here? Oh no, this is a portal. I'm sorry guys. I was on a flow and then um losing track okay this is probably a good report um yeah 230 ground attack 318 ground defense ground hp did get capped let's see cav debuffs 298 210 those are terrible ground hp debuffs and just like no range attack debuff i mean again it obviously varies keep to keep but some people i think zilla has really good debuff Okay. 218 ground attack debuff. 88, there you go. Siege HP debuff is the other thing that on almost every keep they just don't have. 88 siege HP debuff. Siege HP is an extremely important stat to like have on defense and debuff as well. It's why like part of the reason why big siege solo is going crazy as well. Um, I mean, 688 range attack debuff. I mean, yeah, just debuff is, debuff is broken as well with how far um, percent buffs have, have gone on offense. So the game is unbalanced. The developers aren't addressing it. <clears throat> um, and they're focusing on this shit. So I don't know, like that's, those are my suggestions. One, reduce March size, reduce rally size. Two, just stop with the goddamn pay to win buffs, pay for buffs, give it a break. Let us catch up is number three. You know, give us a path, give us some time. Give us a grinding method to catch up with some of these advantages you've given to people who've coined for it and enjoyed their advantage for long enough. Give it, give some kind of very grindy long path which takes a lot of effort for people to get these, these, this gear, the refines, the gems. People got to coin for the gems anyway. You'll make your money. You know, there's, there's still coining involved in this. You'll still get money. Um, and the last thing is address debuff. So that's my advice for the developers. I don't know. What do you, what do you guys think? If you agree, disagree. Um, I think the first thing's controversial. Let me know what you think. Sort of rambled a bit, another ramble, but, uh, yeah. Anyway, guys, that's the video and, uh, yeah, I'll see you in the future. Peace.